it's nine o'clock exactly. I am tired, but we didn't do anything last night. Like we didn't even have one glass of wine, which is unusual for us because even if we stay in, we'll have like two glasses of wine, chill. No, we're both like, no, we're so tired of drinking. I don't know, maybe this is old age, but um, I'm on my way to Barry's now and I've canceled it, late canceled it the last two weekends. So I'm like, I am going, like I need to go because I always schedule it for 9.30 on a Sunday. But I feel like I should stop scheduling it because I'm always so tired on Sundays I just wanna sleep in. So um, I figured I would do a Sunday routine video because I feel like they are so interesting to see what other people do like to get ready for the week. And I love watching them, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do one of them. We don't have anything like super special that we are doing. I don't know why this keeps flying up. We don't have anything super special that we're doing, but we're gonna do the whole basic stuff. Like I'm gonna work out, go home, shower, eat breakfast, and then we will uh, go grocery shopping, do some meal prep, and just basically get our lives together for the week. I have some work to do today, um, and then I'll do some like cozy things. Like I normally like to do things like face mask on a Sunday, and just like get my whole vibe, you know, because I need to, get into this mentality that I'm feeling good for the week or else I'm just like a slug. Like last week, for example, let me give you last week, for example, I drank way too much on a Saturday night. I mean, not like way too much. I had like a couple beers, they were IPAs and it just did me in. So my Sunday was spent on the couch being a lazy load doing nothing because I literally could not move. I was just like, I don't even want to work. I don't want to do anything. So that's why this Sunday I'm going to absolutely crush it because I feel great. I'm just tired but I feel great. I need to have a glass of wine. I'm just so proud of myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm headed to Barry's now and then I'm gonna take you through my entire Sunday routine and I think it will be so fun to see. Um, we do, we have some like little things, traditions that we do on Sundays together and well, I'll just take you guys along and it'll be really fun and my video camera thing keeps sliding down, so. <sighs> Off to Barry's to go get my butt kicked. some oatmeal just the basics for lunch today we're going grocery shopping now because this is what we do every single Sunday um, we're going to Lidl, which I don't know if you know what that is, but it's like an Aldi and there's a new one near us. And so we like, like to go to grocery stores that are new. Let's see what's going on there. This is like our hobbies. So we're headed to Lidl right now and then we're going to do a little meal prep. What are you meal prepping this week? Um, you already oh, made meal well, meal. I made him stuffing from when I was doing like stuffing recipes. So we have stuffing to eat and he has chicken to come in. I'm gonna be making some chicken chili later. So yeah. So I don't have to do anything. Well, why are we going to Lidl then? So I can get mangoes. <laughs> so we can get mangoes. Third. How much are they? 50 cents. 50 cents mango. We're off. We found the mangoes. How many are you gonna get? My old box. <laughs> doing some basic meal prep, just doing some chicken to throw on salads and for lunches. And then we did some carrots, which are very dry. <laughs> These need some like oil or something, but the bacon Brussels sprouts, this is for Tom's lunch. I oh, want I made this banana bread yesterday, which I think is like half gone and I made it last night. Yep, but it's incredible. It's the vegan banana bread from my website. What are you gonna do with the carrots? I'm gonna spray them and roast them more. I'm not really roasting, you know? Yeah, you should have sprayed them. But the bacon Brussels sprouts look amazing. Oh, and then we also have some of, it doesn't look very pretty, but it's this apple chicken sausage stuffing that I made for Thanksgiving that I froze. So I said that some could take it also for lunch this week. 
So now I'm just going to sit with my tea, peppermint tea, my obsession, and do some work. This is my mess. Two laptops. Okay, I desperately needed a snack, so I got, I made some homemade chocolate granola, and there's some cereal under there, and then there's yogurt at the bottom. I filled this thing all the way up, and now I'm transferring some files. I'm just doing some work. Tom's watching a football game, so I guess I'm watching it too. So we are making some chili, the white chicken chili from my site. In here, I just have the white beans and corn, and we're gonna mash up some of the beans. It's actually a cool trick. Well, we're rinsing them and then mashing up some of the beans, like about one cup of them. And we're gonna add it to the soup, so instead of like a heavy cream or anything, it makes it like really creamy and thick, just by mashing the beans. So we do that, and then I buy these green chilies from Trader Joe's, which they add so much flavor. And then this time, it's not in my recipe, but I'm adding a can of diced and fire roasted tomatoes, because I remember that my mom's white chicken chili always had that. And Tom is over here cutting the onion, because I cannot cut onions. Are you crying? I can normally cut them, but this one is very, very... Pungent. Aromic. And add some garlic. So this is a recipe from my site. Okay, if it ever focuses. Lot, it seems like a lot of, but it's mostly just like spices, like salt, pepper, oregano, chili powder. It's really easy, like super easy. You just put everything. Um, we're gonna do chicken and chicken breasts. Chicken, sorry, chicken drumsticks and chicken breasts. So if you see over here, it doesn't look that mashed, but I mashed up some of the beans. This is actually really smooth and soft. It just was going through, I used a potato masher for it. And so we're gonna add that in. That's what I meant by adding in beans to thicken it up. So we just took the chicken breasts out. We're gonna let them cool a little bit and then we're gonna shred them with two forks. And it looks and smells so good so far. Yum. And then we add in a juice of a lime and some Greek yogurt because it just makes it a little more creamy. Turned out so delish. Love that we added the tomatoes this time. It's gonna be so good. One of the last things I'm doing before bed is this clarifying mask from Primally Pure. It is an all natural face mask. They just came out with this lot out. <laughs> just came out with this line of face masks. This one has honey, clay, oil, uh, white willow bark powder. Like who comes up with this shit? Sweet orange essential oil, witch hazel, silver, turmeric. Essential oil, lemon essential oil. So just essential oils and it's nice and I can feel it like honestly like tingling on my skin and it feels really good. Um but I'm gonna do this and then sign off for the night. Guys, oh, hope you enjoyed the Sunday routine. We're going to bed after this. It is now almost like ten o'clock on a Sunday. I feel like Sundays we always go to bed so late. Like I literally have never go to sleep before eleven o'clock. But I'm gonna go shower this off and then just relax the rest of the night. So I hope you enjoyed this. Sorry that I'm ending my vlog with me in a face mask. But love you guys so much. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know if you like Sunday routines. Oh, I wanna do uh, morning and night routines, but I won't do this face mask again. I promise I'll do something different. But I normally, and the reason why I'm doing face masks, sorry, I'm chatting a lot, but the reason why I'm doing face masks is because I try to do one once a week. And Sundays are the best days for it. Wow, it's really like, like bubbling on my face. Um, but Sundays are the best day for it because I just feel like I had a lot of time. So, all right, I hope you guys enjoyed it.